my channel. I hope you guys are doing good today. So in today's video, I am going to talk about um, products, mostly skincare and body care products that are super underrated. They are very underrated. I have not seen a lot of people talk about these products. I have been using them consistently. And when you look at the condition of these products, you're going to know how much I love them and how much I use them on a regular basis. So I really don't have to explain myself here. Anyway, let's just jump right into the video. So let's first talk about a product that I have been using consistently and I have seen quite a difference. So this is from Derma 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 Vive. Derma Vive. I'm so sorry. So this is from Derma Vive. Actually, this brand was uh, sponsored on my channel, but this video is not sponsored. Okay, this is not sponsored at all. Uh, so yeah, I absolutely love them. When I received the products for partnership, I was like so happy to get this very sorry about this i get this calls like daily 10 times um as i was saying i lost my train of thought okay as i was saying that i got this for pr testing and all of that and what happens is that first you get the products you test them out they actually uh, see if it suits your skin or not and then i form my opinion my thought and my review all of that so while i was testing this out i was so happy to get this product by the way because i know that this brand is targeted towards sensitive and dry skin like they're all products are targeted towards sensitive and dry skin and i have noticed that whenever i'm using this cleanser uh, if I'm getting any bumps or if I have used a lot of actives or a lot of makeup that day, you know, and my skin has become sensitive for some reason and I'm getting a lot of acne rash, I immediately pull this cleanser out and it just helps so much. It actually just helps my skin just, you know, just calm down. It calms down my skin. It also removes a makeup. Like I have a lot of oil cleansers. Uh, you guys know that's what I like to, you know, remove my makeup with. And this actually helps to remove the oil cleanser very nicely. I have seen that a lot of these very uh, mild cleanser don't remove oil cleansers that well. And that is why, you know, I don't tend to like my cleansers that much. But with this one, I have noticed that it does foam up very nicely, which is what helps the oil cleanser to get rid of my skin. And yeah, it's a very good cleanser. It has um, collodial uh, oatmeal, which is a very good ingredient for dry and sensitive skin people as well. So a really, really great buy. Although it is a little bit expensive, 1000 for a cleanser, but I like to keep this in my skincare collection and I pull this out whenever I feel like, okay, you know, my skin just needs a little bit of a reset. It needs a very much of a calming, you know, that kind of ingredients. So this is when I pull it out. Uh, okay, so the next we are going to talk about another skincare that I am loving. So this is actually a Korean skincare brand and it's from, uh, it's the brand I am from. And I have already talked about their ginseng mask before, which is what I love to use whenever I feel like I need a face spa kind of a situation. But today I am going to talk about these three products that I have from the brand. So they are not affordable. I'll say that they are quite expensive, but in you know, I got the mini versions of these face masks because I didn't want to spend my money on the full size and the full size retails for like 2000 to 2800 rupees. So that it's very expensive for me. And I got the mini one and I have to tell you, I have been using these for months and I did not run out of it considered obviously I use them like once or twice a week, but still I use them very regularly and I'm happy to say that even the mini contains a lot of product and not going to run out of it very soon. Uh, so the first thing that we have here is the fig, uh, this is a scrub mask. So what is uh, what this is, is actually it is a scrub, but I like it because it's not that harsh. I am someone, I don't use a lot of physical exfoliators on my skin, but with this one, I have noticed that this actually is so mild and I like to use this before like a event or something, you know, just to freshen up my skin a little bit, smooth my skin out. I like to use this and this is actually a scrub and a mask. So first you scrub it all out, like you scrub your skin with this mask, this product, and then you just leave it on and it becomes a mask. Leave it on for about like 10 minutes and just rinse it off. You are going, your skin is going to feel so refreshed after using this. 
So the next product that we have here is the Mugworth mask. So the Mugworth mask is also a mask that's very good. If you have a little bit of acne and if you have sensitive skin, I feel like the Mugworth mask is going to just calm your skin down a lot. And it's also going to provide hydration by the way. So this actually, I finished it all up. I just have a little bit of it left. I can use it maybe once and that's it, you know. So this is also a mask that I really, really love. Although I'm not going to buy the full size of this mask because I just feel like it's for days when my skin feels very irritated. My skin feels, uh, you know, I need some uh, calming, sensitive product in my uh, skincare. That's when I pull this one out. So I'm going to repurchase the mini again. Uh, so another mask, which is my new favorite mask from this entire, you know, thing is the honey mask. This is so ultra, ultra hydrating guys. Like I am telling you, if you have not used a honey mask, give this a go. I'm sure you're going to love it. You know, if you have oily skin, also if you have dry skin, sensitive skin, any skin type, you're going to absolutely love this honey uh, face mask. You have put it on and keep it on for about like 10 to 15 minutes. I like to keep it on and just it's so relaxing. That's the best part about these uh, products is that when I put it on, it's so relaxing. And then after immediately washing it off, you're going to actually see your face glowing, very hydrating. And next morning, you're going to really wake up with very healthy skin overall so these masks these are the products that just works and that's why i got them like first i got the thick scrub mask and then i liked it so much i got the mugwort and then i like these two so much so i got the honey one and i'm finally going to commit to the honey one and i'm going to get a full size of this product so yeah it's totally up to you which one you want to choose but yeah i have laid all the options right in front of you guys i feel like they are so underrated not a lot of people talk about them especially here in india I haven't seen many people talk about this brand, but absolutely love it. So the next skincare product we have here is the Dot and Key skincare from Dot and Key. And this is also, I am talking more about sensitive skin and dry skin related products. So this is the new face moisturizer that they have used, like they have released. And this is the product that I have been using consistently. Now, please bear in mind that I try a lot of products. So it's not easy for me to go through an entire tub of moisturizer in one go because I will be using this one day. The next day I'll have to try out some other product. And but you know what? I'm coming back to this time and again. Like, you know, I use this. And I feel like my skin feels so hydrated. So moisturized and again whenever my skin feels irritated and all of that I immediately switch to this moisturizer and it just calms my skin down it gives me the hydration I don't have to go in with layers and multiple layers of products to you know get the hydration and moisturization because I have dry skin and sometimes my skin gets way too dry from using too many actives in my skincare routine so this actually has been quite helpful so this is also fragrance free all the products that I talked about right now everything is fragrance free so again good for sensitive skin so it comes with five essential ceramides in here and it's great for intense uh, moisturizing repairs and soothes. so I'll definitely have to give this you know uh, a plus because of the quality of this product it feels a uh, very expensive but it's quite affordable so next comes the body care product. Now, these are the two body care that I, I cannot put down. You know, every time I go to take a shower, this is what I have been using. So this is from Boho Botanist. I have talked about this brand briefly before on my channel, but I did not feature it like, you know, full on. Uh, I have to tell you guys that if you are looking for luxury i'm not even saying high end if you want to if you're looking for luxury body care products that is going to feel spa like and you are on a budget don't look any further these are the products you know uh so this is the Bo boho botanist rose and peony this is the buffing sugar body scrub now the best part about this body scrub is the consistency and how it applies on the skin so this actually, and I'll show you guys, this actually is very firm, like it's very stiff. And when you look at it, you're like, this looks like a normal body scrub, but no, it actually melts into your skin. So when you're first rubbing it, you don't even have to go in with a body wash or anything, you know. If you have water on your skin, it actually... So whenever you're applying this on the skin, I have noticed that if you don't even need to go in with a body wash, it actually foams up. 
by itself okay so as you can see the consistency is like a scrub but when you put this on your body it actually becomes like a body wash and a body scrub two in one kind of a product so after you are you know scrubbing this on your body on your skin it actually just melts in with your skin it doesn't leave any granules like normally what happens with body scrub is that it actually leaves a little bit of that granules uh, and when you wash it off it all goes away with this one it just scrubs and then it melts into your body and after that when you rub it off you actually feel so hydrated i am telling you like you need to try this at least once and let me know you know comment down on this video come back you know after you purchase this and let me know you know if you like it or not because i am 100 percent sure that this is amazing like this is a product that i have used a lot of high-end body scrubs as well before and it feels expensive this product definitely 10 on 10 feels so expensive and feels very spa like and every time i go to take a shower i really want to use these products this is my second bottle of uh, this body scrub anyway now coming into unique formulas let's talk about this boho botanist this is the whipped body cream now this is not a paid video this is not nothing of that sort okay i genuinely love these products so much and this is the whipped body cream now when you look at this product you're like the texture the texture is very unique in itself when i first looked at it i was like wow that's that feels different you know and yes it does it actually feels like a very malai type very key very that that sort of a product you know it, you know, look at it you feel like it's a ice cream or something like that uh so when uh, you put it on your skin again i love that this melts into your skin i love body care products that does that love the fragrance of these products they are very rich and they are um, they lean a little bit more towards sweet scents which is what i love personally uh so this a uh, whipped body cream or what is it whipped yeah whipped body cream is also another product that i really have been loving this is my second bottle again of this product as well and as you can see i just opened it up like two days ago and really have been loving it it's a product that i feel like i cannot live without anymore i mean for so long i have never tried a product like this especially both the products i'll say they are very unique and i haven't seen a lot of uh, indian brands come up with these kinds of formulation so that's why i'll say they are super underrated but the quality is 10 on 10 and the last product that I have here is from Bella Vita. Now I have already done again a video with Bella Vita, but in no way this is sponsored or affiliated with them. Uh, I genuinely like their perfume. I have seen a lot of you guys comment that you guys don't like Bella Vita perfume. Please can you let me know why? Uh, because I, I am actually asking you guys a question because I like it. I really do uh every time i wear this scent especially this date woman this um variant i get asked a lot about my perfume uh my even my boyfriend he asks me what perfume are you wearing because it smells so good my mom asks me what perfume i'm wearing every time i wear this and it's very long lasting for me uh, i have seen a lot of negative reviews also about bella vita perfumes and i don't know why because i genuinely like it and i gifted a perfume like a bella vita perfume to my boyfriend as well and he also loves it he said that it's very long lasting so i don't know if the formulation varies or like i genuinely have no idea why people don't like it so if you have used the bella vita perfumes and if you have used this particular scent as well let me know if you like them or if you don't like them because i fall into the love them category i do really like it i just and especially this uh, scent is a very i'll say it has that sexy tone to it but it also has a little bit of that floral hint like i am someone i like a mix of floral clean scents i don't like too much floral i don't like too much clean i don't like too much sweet also but i feel like this is a mixture of everything i can use this in the morning i can use it at night as well but i will say it is much more appropriate for night time but yeah i genuinely like it i have been using it and every time i go out uh you know for a party or for some occasion or something i pull this perfume out and this lasts me for a really really long time if you are wondering if you want to purchase this perfume or not you can go for the mini size they do have a mini size as well i believe 
so you can go for the mini size you know see if it suits your taste or not uh so yeah i i actually like it a lot so that was it for today's uh, video hope this wasn't too long i genuinely like these products so much so i try to describe them in the best possible way uh let me know if you have tried any of these products uh they are very high quality feels very expensive yeah some of these are quite expensive but the rest i tried to keep it more affordable anyway thank you so much for watching this video i love you guys a lot and i'll see you guys in my next one Bye bye